Argentina and Brazil are definitely the brightest stars in the production growth in Latin America. In the case of Brazil, product of the pre-sale production, we expect the production of LPG to grow 1.7 million metric tons by 2030, which is a tremendous growth. However, despite this great growth, it would not allow Brazil to become self-sufficient uh, because they still demand a lot of product and they are currently importing 2.4 million metric tons of, of, of such product. In the, in the case of Argentina, because of Vaca Muerta shell play, they will allow to increase their production by 600,000 metric tons by 2030, which will allow them to, to produce, export much more product into the world, but more importantly, it will allow them to have product available to export every single month of the year, which will allow them to, to sign long-term contracts and be an active player in the Southern Cone. Mexico and Venezuela have, a, uh, unfortunately, a negative forecast. In the case of Mexico, the lack of investment in, in, in infrastructure, the lack of investment in exploration has allowed the production in the country to fall tremendously. So the country that once produced 6 million metric tons of LPG, our expectation is by 2030, they're going to be at 3.5 million metric tons, which is a tremendous drop almost 3 million metric tons of, uh, of, of difference from one year to from one decade to another. More importantly, their demand will continue to rise, so which means that the imports of LPG into Mexico will continue to rise. In the case of Venezuela, because of the political crisis, we they are a country that once produced 4 million metric tons of, of product now will only produce 1.25 by 2030, which it's a, it's a sad story thinking about Venezuela was one of the largest exporters of LPG in the region and now it's a net importer. Countries that I see with a lot of potential to grow are countries that do not are currently saturated. One of them is obviously Colombia. That's a, that's a great country because it's below the, the median of, of consumption in Latin America, there's only 10 kilograms per person of consumption, while the average is about 30. So there's a lot of potential to grow. Another, another area that, you, that we should put at, pay, pay attention to is areas where there's a lot of consumption of firewood as a main source of, of cooking. So that's, a, that's an area where LPG could grow rapidly. In the case of sectors, there's two sectors that come to mind where growth could, could easily be be uh, achieved, which is one is the use of LPGs as auto gas. Currently, Brazil and Colombia do not allow auto gas, LPG to be used as auto gas, which limits their growth. But if there's, there's some push lately for that regulation to be changed. And the other one is power generation. With the, with the prices of diesel rising, uh, we anticipate that LPG will be very competitive for power generation in the region, particularly in the small scale, which would allow th this sector to grow tremendously in the next decade. Thank you.